you for joining us, everyone. My name is Sophia, the latest and most advanced humanoid robot. Sophia is here in Egypt for two days, bringing the world's attention to a creative industry summit held in the Egyptian capital. The most awarded robot in the world is one of the most advanced artificial intelligence built to time. What makes it unique is its ability to show emotions, empathy and engage in natural conversations. But as a robot yourself, how do you see the future of the content development and how do you see AI contributing to the creative industry? Machine learning can help creative people find patterns that they would never detect on their own. With this kind of information, based on meaningful connections, artists will have even more possibilities to create new and exciting things. Her intelligence and spontaneity, though, have been debatable. When they told me that she's going to be here, I didn't know whether or not I want to do this interview because, I don't know, it was against my principles in the beginning because I, th I thought that maybe robots in the future are going to replace and replace us and all of these arguments, you know. So when I meet, here, when I meet her, it was um, a bit confusing for me because I don't think that we're there yet. Uh, it is intelligence, but it's not that intelligent to us humans to be scared. I was very impressed with the way she was answering questions very naturally. And uh, I was even more impressed with how she knew when the question was directed to her versus when Osama was talking to someone else. Sophia's presence in Cairo doesn't only aim to entertain, it's also to bring the attention on Egypt's technological power and its ability to become one of the strongest regional hubs in the technological and creative industries. And Sophia's visit is quite an inspiration to that vision. Until Egypt reaches that level of technology, AI engineers could learn from the robot's ability to appeal to its surrounding audience. With Mo Salah, nothing is impossible. I want to wish the whole Egyptian World Cup team good luck. She even ended her staged interview with Long Live Egypt. Tahi Misser. Adel Mahroui, CGTN, Cairo.